All right, guys, I uh, got another video here on the Droid 2. This is going to be on how to install a custom ROM on the Droid 2. I'm going to just try to install uh, CM7, and we'll see how that works out for us. But I just want to go over some prerequisites with you guys on this device. So you have to be running right here. This is Android version 2.3.4, which is system version 6.2.1. Uh, so make sure you're running that operating system. Um, let's make sure that you have already have root access on your device with super user and you have uh, bootstrap right here droid 2 bootstrap installed so I have videos and all that stuff please check it out on my YouTube channel if you don't know how to do this um, so you got that done basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot into recovery once we have downloaded let me show you that really first once we have downloaded the uh, file so this is a file manager you can go to downloads and here's my file droid 2 cm7 uh, g gingerbread and it gives you the date right there so that is there it's in downloads so I know where it's at functionally in my on my SD card um, so then we're gonna, just gonna go in here we're gonna reboot to recovery and we'll go through this process with you guys hang on a sec okay we just rebooted to recovery um, so what I want to show you guys on here is a couple things. First of all, the first thing you want to do before you install any kind of ROM on your device or anything really, you, you want to make a backup in your Clockwork Mod Recovery application here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here with our volume up and down button and we're going to go down to backup and restore and then hit the enter button on your keyboard. Then it says backup and so you're going to hit the enter button again. So it's going to make a backup right now of everything on your phone, your passwords, your applications, everything except for what is stored on your SD card like pictures and that kind of stuff, which will not get wiped off in a ROM flash anyway. So everything that gets that is on there, it's going to have an image file of everything. So if you ever want to restore your phone back to stock, rooted, you know, uh, device with root access, uh, you're good. you're good to go. So we're just going to let this run. When it's done, I'll finish the procedure on installing CM7. Alright guys, our backup is almost done running here. It's just generating an MD5 sum to kind of secure everything that's on here. It, it's, um, it generates a number that makes sure if that number matches all of the, the backup. So just a safe protect in case your backup gets corrupted. It won't flash a corrupted backup. Um, last thing I wanted to tell you guys really quick before doing any of this make sure you have like 80 90 percent battery if you do not have that you could really mess this thing up in the middle of flashing something in your phone's dies that would not be a good situation so um, just make sure you have good battery life before starting this procedure uh, so just just a prerequisite there also okay so we've made our backup our Android backup is finished it says we've backed up system data Android secure and cache partition and generated an MD5 sum so very nice very simple so now you have an Android backup of Android 2.3.4, which you can restore anytime by going down to the backup and restore option on this screen. So now that we have an Android backup, we're going to go in here and we're going to go to wipes, Let's see if I can get there, wipe data factory reset. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to apply this and then go down to delete all user data, which is going to delete all your applications, passwords and everything. So it's going to delete that stuff. When it's done, we'll go to the next step here. So let's just let this run. All right, so we wiped uh, data, factory reset, that's completed. So we're gonna scroll down to the option below it which says wipe cache partition. So we're gonna select that and then go down to yes, wipe. Um, cache partition is just something that it kind of generates to um, let you get to programs and stuff faster and it, it'll repopulate that when you reboot the phone it's not a big deal even if you wiped it and then just repowered you'd be okay uh, so we're going to go down to Delvic and we're going to hit I mean go to advanced I'm sorry and then we're going to go to wipe Delvic cache and we're going to select that one and then say yes wipe and that is already done so then you're going to hit delete button to bring you back the delete button is the back button and we're going to go down to apply, let's see what is this, install zip from SD card. So we're going to hit enter, choose zip from SD card, enter, and then we're going to go down to downloads and hit enter. 
and the only file I have in my download is the Droid 2 CM7 zip. So we're going to hit enter and then go down to yes, install and hit enter. So it is now finding update package and trying to do everything. It's formatting system. Checking kernel version, installing all, all this stuff. It's going through the operation here. Um, so everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to let this thing run and we'll come back to it when it finishes installing. Okay, so our install is complete. It formatted system, mounted system, installed system, created a system link, set, set permissions, and finished installation. Alright, so at this point, if you're installing anything gingerbread based pretty much you just have to reboot the device by going back with the delete button down here and then it says reboot system now if you were flashing like an ice cream sandwich based or jelly bean based ROM you probably have to flash the GGAPS which is the Google applications and it would be another file you would download um, so just make sure you read up on any uh, post on XDA or wherever you're getting your stuff from on if you need GGAP gaps installed. I don't think the CM7 needs it because I think it's gingerbread based so shouldn't need it. I'm gonna reboot and find out but if you miss it sometimes it will actually make the thing not boot correctly and you might have to get back into stock recovery and fix it um, but we're gonna reboot it and see what we got here so let's reboot I'm gonna shut the phone for now it should be okay um, I'm just want to show you guys the boot animation and then I'm gonna let it boot up the rest of the way initial boot on any ROM flash give at least 10 minutes and um, if the thing boot loops, which means it goes to this logo, goes to boot animation, and boots back, and just keeps going in circles, you're gonna have a pro you have a problem. Obviously, you need to get back in recovery and either restore your backup or um, try reflashing it or re-downloading it. Um, but yeah, definitely give yourself 10 minutes because it's got to kind of rewrite everything because it's you just installed a whole new system on your phone. So it just takes a while. And first initial boot, after that, you're probably gonna be back to your normal boot times of you know like a minute or whatever it is it takes to boot up the device. So here we go. This is Saijin Mod 7. That is the boot animation for it. So let's just let this load and um, I'll get back to you guys when it's done. Alright guys, so here we go. This is CM7 fully booted up. Um, so let me just show you some of the features on it. Here's your normal basic screens. Nothing too exciting here. One of the coolest things about custom ROMs is this kind of stuff. You have these quick toggles on top for toggling your sound, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, your GPS, stuff like that. Um, which is pretty cool. You can just turn that on and off really easy in your pull down notification. Um, let's go into settings here really quick. So you have a whole bunch of side gen mod settings which just tweaks out all kinds of stuff from performance to backlights to interfaces to lock screens um, to tweaks on there for tablet modes and stuff like that. Real, really cool um, features you have in there. Uh, let me just go in here to about phone and you can see this is running Android version 2.3.7. Um, and is the Droid 2 obviously. So this Cyanamon 7 has got all kinds of cool stuff. It does come with ADW launcher and pre-installed in it. Um, but what I got to show you guys really quick that I just noticed, like I told you before, I wasn't sure if this thing had the Google applications in it, and it actually does not. So I'm going to have to flash them. But to flash them, I've already booted up, and it actually booted fine without the Google applications in there. And I just want to show you this. You can go into Goo Manager here. And you can do this right here. Download GGAPS packages. So it's going to go ahead and find the latest GGAPS packages for Gingerbread, which are, let's see here, where's the latest on here? So they're all in here by date order, I think. I think we just want one of these plain ones right here. So we're going to go with it. GGAPS right here, sign. We're just going to do that one. So we're going to download it and should all download okay once it downloads I'm just gonna go back into recovery and reflash these just to show you guys because there's no Gmail or Google Play in here so you can't even download anything more on this device without these um, so there we go it is downloading right here you can see it downloading zip right across there which is pretty cool um, alright so finish so then what we're going to do is we're just going to go into a file manager, which is right here. And I just want to see where these are at. Um, bah, bah, bah. Goo manager right here. So there you go. So we should be able to reboot into recovery. And we can do that with clockwork mod recovery. And then we'll just reflash these. 
so that's all right let's go reboot into recovery right here sure allow and we're going to reboot in recovery and reflash these so pretty simple really um you just flash them right on top of everything you don't have to make another backup or anything like that if you don't want to um so we're just going to flash them on top i'm going to reboot and just show you guys that they're back in there all right so we're going to scroll down to install zip from sd card hit enter choose zip from sd card enter now we're going to go down to goo manager down here towards the bottom right there hit enter uh, g gaps are highlighted hit enter and then we're going to hit install them and hit enter so g gaps shouldn't take long to install it's not a very big file there, there you go it's already done so delete for back reboot system now hit enter and that should be the gingerbread uh, G gaps install pretty simple it should boot up with them all in there uh, hopefully we don't have any problems I might need to go back and wipe cache or data or something like that we'll try it just to see so let's see if it boots up okay so uh, we rebooted and prop with no problems here let's see if our Google applications are now installed this is your lock screen in case you wanted to see it um, so just do like that uh, but, but, but let's just finish this for night now um, we don't have to actually activate it because this phone just I don't use it just for fun so we'll just bypass that activation screen for right now um, alright so let's go in here and now there we go so we have the market now that's now in there and yep that's that's really actually the most important thing on here is getting the market because oh here's talk that's a Google application um, and Google search right there that's a Google application. So this is what it comes with. It obviously comes with Google Manager already, uh, ROM Manager already, and Super User. So we have Root Access. has Terminal also and Theme Chooser. Theme Chooser is really nice. You can download all kinds of crazy cool themes off of Google Play. So there you go, guys. That is your setup. There's lots of features in here. Please check it out, especially under Settings. Um, and right here, Sage and Mod settings. This is some awesome stuff. This is a really cool ROM for this device. Runs really, really well. Everything is fully functional. So please check it out. That is it, guys. That is my install, the long version there of installing CM7 on the Droid 2. Hope you guys like it. Um, please give me a thumbs up or hit the like button if you do. Um, also, please check out the links in the four corners. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.